Now let's see the non preemptive version of this uh, priority. So here once we take a schedule, I mean take a process which is having the highest priority, we are going to run it till completion without any preemption. So now it is a priority based algorithm where we are going to see non preemption. Okay. And, and then uh, see one more thing whenever priorities are given you should always know which one is high priority and which one is low priority. Sometimes what happens is people will take the low number as high priority and high number as low priority it might happen. Therefore here they have clearly mentioned that 12 is highest priority and 2 is lowest priority right okay. And now we can start from first one. So I am going to start at time 0 and now at time 0 P1 has arrived, process P1 has arrived and its priority is 2 and I don't have any other option now. So only one process is available so I am going to schedule it, process P1 and it is going to finish by first time is 4 therefore 4, right? Yes. Now by the time 4 actually uh, till P5 till this point all the processes are available 2 3 4 5 now among this 2 3 4 5 I have to take the one with the highest priority and in this algorithm they are saying that higher number is higher priority therefore 2 3 4 5 the highest one is 4 therefore I am going to schedule P4 next got it because that is having highest priority and I could run it till P4 can be run till uh, 5 which means 9 boss time of P4 is 5 so you can just you can know what is the burst time of corresponding process this way okay and now p4 is over so p1 is over and then p4 is over completed right and now what is the time 9 so by the time 9 all the processes are available so other than 1 and 5 just see what are the priorities other than 1 and 5 sorry 1 and 4 1 and 4 are over right so 4 6 8 uh, 12 and 9 obviously 12 is the highest priority which is p6 therefore next process is p6 and its burst time is 4 therefore it is going to be finished by 13 so p6 is also over right so now this is over and p4 is over and then 1 is over so in the remaining ones you pick up the one with the highest priority which is now p7 right which is having 9 therefore p7 can be scheduled which is having priority 9 and which is having a burst time of 6 which means by 19 it is going to be finished and now next one is among these you can pick the next next minute next maximum so next maximum is 8 so I can pick 8 therefore p5 is the priority sorry p5 is the process and its burst time is 8 so 19 plus 8 is uh, 27 right oh <laughs> its burst time is not uh, 9 its burst time is its burst time is p5 is 1 which means by 20 it is over right and next one is uh, next one uh, and the am among the available next one is 6 therefore I am going to take p3 and whose uh, burst time is 3 therefore by 23 it is over and the only one remaining is p2 finally p2 has to be scheduled and its burst time is 2 therefore 25 right so this is how we could schedule all the process maybe you could just cross verify it uh, see P1 burst time is 4 therefore 4 and P4 burst time is 5 therefore 9 P6 burst time is 4 therefore 13 P7 burst time is 6 therefore 19 and P5 burst time is uh, uh, 1 therefore 20 and P3 burst time is 3 therefore 23 and P2 burst time is 2 therefore 25 alright so this is how we got to uh, obtain all the process and after this we can see the completion times what is the completion time of each one so we know that completion time can be up, uh, obtained by looking at each of them right so completion time of p1 is 4 and p2 is 25 and p3 is uh, 23 p4 is 9 p5 is 20 p6 is 13 and p7 is 19 this is the completion time therefore you can obtain the turnaround time and waiting time. So turnaround time and waiting time and you can find out even the uh, response time too. Right? You can find out all these times and you can find out the average of them. So you could do it anyway but then let me just do it so that you can cross verify the solution. Now what is turnaround time? 
uh, this uh, completion time minus arrival you know arrival time which is 4 here uh, which is 24 here 21 here and 6 here 16 here hmm, 8 here 13 here what about waiting time waiting time is turnaround time minus uh, bus time 0 22 hmm, 18 hmm, 1 15 4 and it is uh, 7 and what is response time response time is see when it got for you no know, initially scheduled for the first time and when it arrived p1 got scheduled at 1 and it arrived at 0 therefore its response time is 0 it didn't wait for any time right and then p4 got uh, so p4 got uh, you know arrived at 4 and it got first scheduled p4 arrived at 4 and it got first scheduled at sorry p4 arrived at 3 and it got scheduled by at 4 therefore it is 1 let's talk about p2 first so p2 got scheduled at uh, 23 and it arrived at uh, you know 1 therefore its response time is 22 and one thing if you observe the response time and waiting time will be same in case of processes uh, where the preemption is it is non preemptive the reason is if you think logically if the schedule is non preemptive non preemptive means we are not going to pull out the process then the response time is actually waiting time the reason is it is going to wait for only some amount of time and once it waits that amount of time it will completely run to execution so whenever it is given for you know execution it is going to complete it it is going to complete it and then leave the system it is not going to wait any further therefore if there is no preemption waiting time and response time both will be same in case if there is preemption waiting time might be more compared to response time response time is when are you going to schedule it for the first time and waiting time is you know depending on co completely how much time it, it waited without uh, getting executed so in case if there is preemption waiting time will come you know a lot of times in the middle compared to the uh, burst time hmm. now next one is uh, for the third one so third one got uh, scheduled at 20 but it arrived at 6 therefore it is uh, but arrived at 2 therefore it is 18 so you can check it you can check out everyone it is going to be exactly the waiting time nothing else right in case of uh, preemption then the response time and waiting time will be different so anyway you can find out what is the average turnaround time what is the average waiting time and what is the average response time okay fine